All right, welcome to lab two. Lab two serves two purposes. The first is to understand and to correct common misconceptions about how the seasons work. In particular, why is it hotter in summer and colder in winter? You're going to do this by carrying out two types of measurements. The first has to do with duration of illumination. In other words, what is the length of day? And how does it vary with your latitude on the planet and with what season it is? The second has to do with directness of illumination. In other words, how high is the sun in the sky, say at midday? And how does this vary with latitude and season? In this lab, you'll be carrying out a great many measurements and you'll develop a real physical intuition for these two effects and how they vary as a function of latitude and season. The second purpose of this lab is to begin our journey along the cosmic distance ladder. At the end of this lab, you'll use the sun, or rather our simulation of it, to measure the size of Earth itself. Now this lab is traditional in the sense that you will not be using Skynet. Instead, you'll be using either a globe and a ring light to illuminate it and carrying out your measurements on the globe, or you'll be using the program Stellarium and carrying out your measurements inside the program. Which of these two versions you'll be using is up to your instructor. Meanwhile, while you're carrying out lab two, and actually before you even begin lab two, you should put your observations for lab three into Skynet. In lab three, we'll be monitoring a moon going around a gas giant, and you need to observe it once a day for at least a week, um, two if possible. So you certainly don't want to delay. You want to put those observations in right away because it takes a while to collect them. The instructions for doing this are listed at the top of lab two, or you can go directly to lab three in the procedure section A. Okay, good luck.